Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today, as you can see, I am traveling, but I have a really interesting and I think infuriating story for you, and we are talking about Facebook. Facebook apparently has been paying a political consultant to malign TikTok. Yes, and quite frankly, Facebook, you are not helping here. Now, here's what's going on. This is coming from the Washington Post, and I am quoting them extensively. Here's what's up. Facebook's parent company, Meta, is paying one of the biggest consulting firms in the country to orchestrate a nationwide campaign seeking to turn the public against TikTok. Now, this consulting firm is actually rather interesting. They do a lot of political consulting work for uh, organizations like the GOP or the Republican Party, so they are very good at what they do. Now, this campaign has included uh, basically placing op-eds and letters to editors in major regional news outlets promoting dubious stories about alleged TikTok trends that actually actually originated on Facebook and are pushing to draw political reporters and local politicians into helping take down what is essentially Facebook's largest competitor at this time. Now, these just core, hardcore kind of tactics are very commonplace, obviously, in the political world. That just goes without saying. But they've become increasingly noticeable in the tech industry as these companies vie for essential cultural relevance, as the Washington Post puts it, at a time, obviously, when Facebook is under pressure to win back young users and Facebook has been bleeding leading users, especially as they attempt to move into the metaverse. I have looked at the metaverse. I have been in the metaverse. I was not impressed by the metaverse. Obviously, it's still under development. Nevertheless, it just bored me to death. Now, let's continue on, though, because I, that, I could do a whole other video on that. Now, employees basically of this consulting firm known as Targeted Victory work to undermine TikTok through a nationwide media and lobbying campaign, basically trying to portray TikTok, which is one of the fastest growing apps on the planet, which is also owned, and if you follow me, you know it's owned by the Beijing-based company ByteDance. And they're basically pick painting them as a danger to American children and society, according to internal emails that were shared with the Washington Post. And we will get to that. Now, Targeted Victory needs to, and I quote, get the message out that while Meta is the current punching bag, TikTok is the real threat, especially as a foreign-owned app that is number one in sharing data that young teens are using. That is basically coming from a director of the firm writing this past February. Now, campaign operatives were also encouraged to use TikTok's prominence as a way to deflect from Meta, aka Facebook's own privacy and antitrust concerns. And I quote again, basically from a staffer writing uh, via targeted victory. Bonus point, if we can fit this into a current broader message that the current bills slash proposals aren't where state attorneys general or members of Congress should be focused. Now, these emails, which have not been previously reported on, show the extent to which Meta, aka Facebook, and its partners will use opposition research tactics against basically TikTok that has become one of the most downloaded apps in the world, often outranking Facebook uh, and Instagram as downloads. Now, an internal report last year leaked by whistleblower Francis Haugen, and if you follow me, you know I was talking about that on my radio show as well as here on the daily podcasts and video, uh, basically that teens were spending two to three uh, times more time or two to three more time, two to three times more time, uh, say that five times fast, on TikTok rather than Instagram. And obviously that is a huge problem because Instagram is supposed to be the hot app that Facebook has for the younger crowd, meaning you don't want to be on mom and dad's social media on Facebook, you move to Instagram, hello TikTok, here we come. Now Targeted Victory also worked to amplify the negative TikTok coverage and basically had a Google document they were working through called Bad TikTok Clips, which shared in which were basically shared internally to Targeted Victory and included links to dubious local news stories citing TikTok as basically the or origin of basically dangerous teen information. And obviously that is a huge problem here. Oops, I lost my uh, I lost my notes there for a second. But obviously that that's a huge problem because obviously uh, as TikTok gains in followers, that's a huge problem with these, these fake trends. Now local operatives working with the firm were encouraged to promote these alleged TikTok trends in their own markets and to pressure local lawmakers to act as well. So for example, one trend that Targeted Victory sought to enhance was the Devious Licks Challenge, which showed uh, basically students vandalizing school property through basically this this bad TikTok 
TikTok's clip document that they were sharing internally. The firm pushed stories about the devious licks challenge in the local media uh, markets of Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Rhode Island, and Washington, D.C. Now, Meta spokesperson or uh, Facebook spokesperson Andy Stone defended this campaign by saying, and I quote, we believe all platforms, including TikTok, should face a level of scrutiny consistent with their growing success. Interesting, and I will be talking about that shortly. Now, this trend actually led, this devious licks trend actually led Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat of Connecticut, to write a letter in September calling TikTok executives to testify in front of a Senate subcommittee, basically saying that the app had been, quote, repeatedly misused and abused to promote behavior and actions that encourage harmful and destructive acts. But according to the investigation by Anna Foley at the podcast network Gimlet, rumors of the Devious Licks challenge initially started on Facebook and spread on Facebook not on TikTok. Now, also in October, um, essentially Targeted Victory worked to spread rumors of the Slap a Teacher TikTok challenge in local news, basically touting a local news report on the alleged challenge in Hawaii. Now, in reality, no such challenge existed on TikTok. Again, the rumor started on Facebook, according to a series of Facebook posts first documented by Business Insider. Now, the firm also worked to use both genuine concerns and unfounded anxieties to cast doubts about the popular app. One email outlining recent negative TikTok stories uh, mixed reasonable questions largely about TikTok's corporate ownership and practices with more exaggerated stories about young users recording themselves behaving badly, the kinds of social media panics that have long basically bedeviled the huge social media networks like Facebook in the past. Now, the agency was working at the same time also to get quote-unquote proactive coverage about Facebook into local newscasts, radio segments, and TV broadcasts, including submitting letters and opinion pieces speaking basically in support or glowingly of Facebook's role in supporting things like black-owned businesses. Those letters did not mention Meta, basically the, the firm's involvement of Targeted Victory. Targeted Victory is also contracted with dozens of public relation firms across the United States in their help to sway public opinion against TikTok. In addition to planting local news stories, the firm has helped place op-eds targeting TikTok around the country, especially in key congressional districts. So that is the nutshell of what is going on. Facebook is basically paying for a smear campaign against against TikTok. And oh my God, I mean, there is so much, there's so much to unpack here. Now, from what I understand, of Facebook's intent here. It's to deflect from their own scandals. This is a common tactic that has been used since time immemorial, but we have to know how to walk and chew gum here. Meaning if Facebook is expecting us, oh, well, basically we're gonna cast a whole bunch of doubt on TikTok. Everybody will focus on TikTok and forget about us. No, we can be, we can hate you both. That's really honestly what it, what it comes down to. We can basically criticize both of you. And if anything, they are just reinforcing just how bad they are, Facebook, a.k.a. Meta, and not TikTok, thanks to what we've just learned by the Washington Post. Their internal representative actually confirmed this. I quoted him. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Now, second, second here, they are actually harming the cybersecurity community's continuous alarm ringing over TikTok for their data mining, their surveillance, and their deep ties to Chinese government. If you follow me, as I've mentioned before, you know I've spoken out against TikTok. Facebook, though, has all of these issues as well. They data mine, they have surveillance, all these things, but they don't have the Chinese government ties, but they're not going to use any of that in their campaigns because, well, yeah, the whataboutism would not be a false equivalency. Oh, we're data, TikTok's data mining you? Well, yeah, so is Facebook. So there you go. So they're not using that. The problem that we have here, the problem that we have here is that non-technical people are going to read this article, this Washington Post article, which has been replicated and (laughs) reported on by a whole bunch of other outlets, uh, you know, basically to spread the word here. They're going to read these articles. They're going to shake their heads at Facebook and they're going to think, well, you know, maybe I was wrong about TikTok. Maybe it's okay for my kid to start doing this now that, you know, this kid's not going to go trashing his school or all those kinds of things and the answer is no 
No, the core problem here is is the core problem. It is not the the, the stupid stunts that teenagers pull. The core problem is the cybersecurity side of this, the data mining side of this, the access by a foreign government that is running the largest surveillance state in the world. These are actual legitimate problems that we have. And you will note that as I am talking about this in my daily videos, my daily podcasts, or even on my radio show, I'm talking about the technical side of this, the data mining side of this, the government surveillance side of this with accurate information coming from the cybersecurity community. I'm not talking about the stupid challenges. Wherever they you know, evolve from let's say they started on Facebook and moved to TikTok there's still a problem and Facebook is just using this to deflect CCC TikTok's a huge problem for all of this but now people are going to read this and basically say yeah there's no problem with TikTok it was all Facebook lies blah 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 not that they'll leave Facebook because you know half the planet's addicted to Facebook but this is the issue parents are not going to differentiate between that little nugget of truth that they might have spun into something absolutely huge and absolutely massive and that is a problem for everybody there are serious problems with TikTok there are serious issues with TikTok on the cybersecurity side on the surveillance side uh, basically I, I talked about this a short while ago that one you know a cybersecurity researcher was looking through this and there were anti uh, tampering and evasive techniques that were built into TikTok to start mass Asking what it was doing on your mobile phone. I mean, these are actual legitimate research things uh, that we are seeing from the cybersecurity community. And it is a damn shame now that this is going to be deflected. And there are going to be people out there that think, oh, Nick, you're just shilling for this. Targeted Victory has not paid me for any of this for the record. You know, this is seriously, seriously a problem with TikTok. And, and while... Facebook is using this to basically pass deflection. We can't get rid of the fact that we do have TikTok problems. It may not be the stupid challenges. It may not be the the you know the, those those stupid videos and all that kind of stuff. But we do have surveillance issues. That's a huge problem, and we need to be aware of that. So Facebook. You really do suck for this one. You really do. You're making my job and every cybersecurity professional's job sounding the alarm, the actual alarm over this. Uh, it's a huge problem. And so that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, even though Twitter or Facebook sucks. Well, Twitter's not so great either. And also follow me on YouTube as well. You'll be data mined on all three of those for the record. I just, it's social media. And as always, stay safe, stay online and stay private. And please still stay off of TikTok, even though Facebook sucks about blaming TikTok. Thanks, everybody.